Ace money to name, getting paper to gain. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E. We're handicappers, so it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. Thursday Night Football, NFL. We got Vikings going in to see the Rams, L.A. Uh, lines opened up at plus three and a half. Vikings are uh, as the underdog. Uh, 45 and a half total and minus 160, 180. I don't know, maybe it's a typo. But uh, flip-flopped. You can get the Vikings now, minus two and a half, minus three. You want to take the two and a half. Uh, total went up 47 and a half, and uh, Vikings now the favorite. 143. Be the best odds. Um, did have a little breakdown. I'm going to have to skip that and just get into the play props, having problems recorded. Every time my little skits take longer than like a minute, it's not loading up and stuff. But uh, yeah, I got a few play props. Let's get right into them. Now, receiving yards over 29 and a half, DraftKings. Uh, he got hurt a few games ago. Uh, he hasn't been ruled out yet for this game. He might come back. If he comes back, he should easily go over this. Uh, he got hurt versus Detroit. Right in the beginning, I think it might have been game one. It was the first game, so uh, he's not ruled out right now. Uh, Vikings ruled out Hutchinson, whatever that tight end's name is. I was going to play him. I know it's the other team, but L.A. hasn't said anything yet. So uh, I'm a rock with it. If they don't play him, uh, you get the bet back. Receiving yards overall, ranked 30th, 31st at the wide receiver position. Uh, as well as Cooper Cup coming back. So you can jump on his lines as well. Maybe Cooper Cup take his uh, rushing with receiving because they do some screens or some uh, some reverse uh, pitches and stuff like that, or or the screens sometimes are backwards a little bit, so he count his runs. But, uh, I went with Nakua. If he plays, we can easily catch this. Uh, let's get it. Uh, his yards did go down over that 36 and a half, 31 and a half. That is probably because Cup and maybe Puka's back. Cup is coming back today. It's already verified. Uh, minus 110 FanDuel, 125 DraftKings. Since they've been out, he's been the, one of the main targets. Uh, easily going over this. Uh, again, a Quite a few receptions, quite a few targets. He's exceeded 31 and a half, five straight games, averaging 66. Uh, first in targets, but like I said, this is because everyone else was injured. Uh, I just believe that the chemistry is already there. They built it, the trust is there, the reliability, um, as well as with Puka and Cup, but. If the number one and number two are back, they're going to draw more attention anyway, which is still going to leave Atwell open. Uh, the number being this low, I'm pretty sure it's been higher. Uh, I'm jumping on it, taking it all day. Let's get it. 2-2 two, two Atwell. Receiving yards over 14 and a half. Minus one, 10 fan duel. Line open at 16 and a half and they go down. He's not utilized that much in the passing game. Kind of not at all, to tell you the truth. It looks crazy, right? Excuse me. Um, Minnesota blitzes a lot. LA is also playing at home, so it's going to be quieter. Uh, I think with the blitzes and Stafford, if he picks them up, he's going to have quick check down and uh, utilize Williams in this. Um, 
it's, you know, everything saying, no, oh, I failed to, failed to uh, exceed, blah, blah, blah. As you see, a couple of receptions, a couple of targets. Another reason that led me into this is uh, overall Minnesota receiving yards, we already know, ranked 30th. The running back ranked 21st, so they've given up some yards. Uh, low number, 14 and a half. Uh, you know, one good play, he can go over that, one check down, anything. Uh, I just have a feeling that it's going uh, to be taken care of, as well as with them good receivers. Uh, might try to lock him up or whatever and just give him an opportunity. Uh, I just think it's a good spot for it. Um, is uh, 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 Cashman, he's uh, the Vikings uh, defensive guy who does the play calls. He wears the, the headset and he gives out the things. He, uh, I'm pretty positive he's not playing today. So the linebackers will be the ones picking him up and stuff. So they're going to have like second, third strings in there. And as the game goes on, I believe it's just going to get worse and it's going to open up more opportunities for him. Uh, he should be able to go over it. So, uh, yeah, I did have a few other plays. I just didn't play them. I liked Aaron Jones receiving yards over 24 and a half. Uh, well, I gave you guys uh, the other one was uh, Josh Naylor. He had it on DraftKings minus 130. Uh, those are all good plays as well. Just between basketball and this, is chewed up the money that I got available to spend. But yeah, let's get it. Uh, Kyron Williams receiving yards. This play is for you. I need you to hit that like button. Uh, new viewers, subscribe and let's turn on the notifications. This is where you get all my plays, my live bets, anything I do, uh, I give it to you. I try to be as transparent as possible. If you got time, you can leave a comment. Likes and comments help get the videos out there, as well as the comments. Uh, gives us some interaction back and forth, uh, some feedback. Uh, been YouTube for a couple months now. Trying to get the subs up there, but uh, I don't get paid for this, so it just, you know, makes it worth my time while showing that you guys are actually enjoying and using it. I uh, started tracking my bets about a month ago. Um, unit size up until week six was $25. I just brought it up to 35 so take that into consideration. Uh, this is all time. Started on the 19th. Slowly going up. 61% uh, hit rate. Uh, yeah, so let's get it. Appreciate everyone. East Money the Name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.